In the vibrant city of Kampala, Uganda, life moves at a fast pace. With a growing population and limited public transportation options, getting around the city can be a challenge. Traffic congestion, poor air quality, and noise pollution have become the norm. But in the midst of this urban dilemma, two engineers saw an opportunity for change. Zembo, founded by Etienne saint sanen and Daniel Dreyer in 2018, is a startup selling electric border borders, motorcycle taxis, across Uganda. Determined to tackle these challenges, two visionary engineers, Daniel Dreyer and Etienne saint saran founded Zembo. Their mission is to provide electric motorcycles to border border drivers, reducing emissions and improving the lives of both drivers and passengers. Welcome back to African Gold Growers Academy, the place where we help you to start a strategic business in Africa with low risk, with low investment. Please subscribe to the channel, give us a like, and tell us in the comments what other kind of content do you like to watch here in the channel. Share the video if you like, and all of this is free for you, and you help us a lot. Boda Boda is uh, one of the biggest polluters of Kampala, and um, we are introducing an electric motorcycle which removes the motorcycles which cause pollution here. Hi, my name is Titus Chimboa. I am the director here at Zembo. So Zembo officially started operations in 2019 with six bikes on the road and two stations. And now we have over 27 stations and 200 bikes on the road. This rider is German engineer Daniel Dreher. He had worked for a solar energy company for several years before he decided to try to make Kampala's motorbikes cleaner. With his startup Zembo, he now imports cutting edge electric motorbikes from China. Each one sells for about a thousand euros. That's quite a bit of money. But the drivers can pay over a period of two years. And the e bikes are tailored to their specific needs here. Our driving mode is different than a Chinese person commuting to work. Here we really look into productive use and hundreds of kilometers every day. Zembo introduced a groundbreaking model. Drivers no longer need to buy their own batteries or wait for them to charge. Instead, they simply swap a discharged battery for a fully charged one at Zembo's battery swap stations, getting them back on the road in under a minute. These powerful, reliable, and comfortable motorcycles use high-capacity lithium batteries, emitting no noxious fumes, particles, or noise. Zembo's innovation has not only transformed the border border industry but also made it more profitable for the drivers. Number one, it is silent. Number two, it doesn't consume fuel at all. Number three, via, via hills, it climbs very well. Once a driver receives a bike, he gets the battery with it. And once he comes to a point where he can no longer go too much farther, he comes into our station in which we swap him and give him another battery which has been charged. And he pays a small fee for that and uh, goes on to continue his day. Uh, before you get a battery, we have to ensure that you are the owner of the bike or you're authorized to be on the bike. That's one way that we have uh, enhanced security for our drivers. And secondly, we have a GPS tracker within the, uh, uh, the battery and within the bike. So if the bike gets lost, we're able to track it down. Zembo's success has led to the establishment of a local assembly facility in Kampala, creating jobs and reducing dependency on imports. Their long-term vision is to manufacture most parts of the electric motorcycles in Uganda, further boosting the economy and facilitating repairs. Another of the great successes of Zembo Motorcycles is its sales and marketing model. As we always say at African Gold Growers Academy, we need African solutions to African problems. At Zembo Electric Motorcycles, an equipment rental model was established to make it easier for its clients to pay and also to guarantee the maintenance of the motorcycles for at least two years. We've definitely uh, faced issues on some of the electrical parts and we allow them to, uh, they have a two-year warranty on the electrical parts. So when they come and buy a bike from us and uh, if a controller has a problem, um, two months later they can come in and we can uh, fix the controller or replace the controller. Zembo is already creating employment. Sarah Tabu couldn't find a job for two years. Now she's in charge of marketing. 
actually it makes me feel very very proud of myself that I'm contributing a lot uh, to be part of the, the great team which is actually contributing to, uh, to, to e-mobility. For a small fee of just over half a euro, a Zembo driver can exchange an empty battery for a fully charged one. The Zembo e-bikes are fully green since the electricity comes from the solar energy array on top of the company's building. Four more solar charging points are planned in Kampala soon. In marketing, although they advertise on social media expos and other visible places, their best marketing is word of mouth. Each client of theirs who drives a Zembo captivates the city with a motorcycle that does not make noise. On the other hand, each client he recommends the brand in his social circle and if someone is going to buy a motorcycle recommended by the customer, the customer earns a commission, which in the West is known as affiliate marketing. I've liked this bike. Wherever you go, people will stop you. And I was moving uh, on Northern Bypass, just so someone uh, just uh, stopping in front of me. I, I was I was scared, I thought of oh, what is happening. I said, you man, have you ever seen a bike moving without making noise? So I told him, man, now you have seen it. Currently, we have actually used the clients themselves to attract new clients. Whenever we sell a new bike, um, it brings new market to us because that's somebody that's going to go out and will meet their friends, their colleagues. Colleagues will ask about us and then the, the, our client will bring that client in. We pay uh, a commission to the client for bringing a good, well, uh, a good client for us and uh, that's been the main way we've, we've attracted uh, new clients. The great advantages of Azembo is that they reduce fuel costs for their customers by 45% and more than 60% in maintenance, all because they are electric, it is much cheaper to produce electricity and to provide maintenance as they have fewer parts. Their success has been such that starting in 2019 with only 9 motorcycles today, in 2023 they have more than 200 motorcycles in circulation and 27 charging stations. They calculate to have more than 2,000 motorcycles by 2025. Here the cost of uh, fuel, some people look at, look at the cost of fuel and, uh, uh, and battery. For me I don't look at it at, at, at that, eh? I look at the servicing, you put in little even if we compare the fuel and the battery, it can uh, take me around 70 kilometers. 70 kilometers, if I, I would compare, I've paid 4,000 to move for 70 kilometers. On the other bike, if I pay 5,000 for a liter of fuel, I'll move for 40 kilometers. Uh, we see ourselves with over 2,000 bikes within the next year and a half. Energy is generated within the country, not like fuel which is imported from outside. Um, so this has a huge impact on the environment um, and we will breathe cleaner air here in Kampala. I see even in 10 years no fuel motorcycles sold anymore in the world market. It's an outdated technology. Before we continue with the lessons for entrepreneurs, don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, share the video if you like it and tell us in the comment what do you think about the video. It's all free for you and you help us a lot to continue creating content. Now let's continue with the video. Now let's continue with the lessons for entrepreneurs from Zembo Motorcycle's success story. 1. Addressing local challenges. Zembo Motorcycles identified a pressing problem in Uganda's urban transport system and developed a tailored solution. Entrepreneurs should focus on understanding the specific needs and challenges of their target market, offering innovative solutions that address local pain points. We always repeat the same thing, African solutions to African problems, if something works elsewhere, adapt it to the context of your local market. For that you will have to think outside the box in very creative ways. Do not be afraid to let your imagination run wild in order to find creative solutions such as Zembo motorcycle charging stations. 2. Embracing sustainable practices, Zembo motorcycles prioritize sustainability by introducing electric motorcycles and battery swap stations. 
African entrepreneurs can learn from this example by incorporating eco-friendly practices into their business models, considering the long-term environmental impact of their products or services. One of the biggest responsibilities that we have as African entrepreneurs is to bring solutions to the market, but solutions that do not create more problems, we have to think about the future that we want to build, the greener, more peaceful, healthier, more just future. 3. Collaboration played a crucial role in Zembo Motorcycle's success. They partnered with Infraco Africa and other organizations to secure investment and grant funding, enabling them to scale their operations and embed high standards of health and safety. African entrepreneurs should actively seek partnerships and collaborations with like-minded organizations, investors, and stakeholders to leverage resources, expertise, and support for their ventures. Many times we do not have all the capital or all the experience to develop a project, it is very important that we learn to seek support from others who do have it and recognize our strengths and weaknesses, only then will we be successful. For Zembo Motorcycle story is not limited to Uganda. Its model holds the potential for replication in other African cities facing similar challenges. African entrepreneurs should explore the scalability of their business ideas, aiming to create solutions that can be adapted and implemented across different markets and regions. Its sales model, its marketing model as well as the design of the motorcycle and the charging stations are perfectly aligned with the reality and cultural needs of Africa, it is a very interesting and replicable solution. As African gold growers we must always think like Etienne saint sanen and Daniel Drea did and adapt innovative solutions to the African market and not want to force our value proposition to a reality that does not exist in Africa. Note that they brought motorcycles and not cars, they brought charging stations in special areas and not in their clients' homes, these are important details to take into account as entrepreneurs in Africa. Thank you for watching us. And remember, this is how we grow gold in Africa. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.